Well, good morning. It's really great to be here today. There's amazing energy in the room, and we are so glad to be part of it. I want to thank Mark Edwards and his team for organizing this important su summit with so many distinguished participants and leaders. Many of, of our nonprofit partners um, are here today. City Year, Year Up, Youth Build, Communities and Schools, to name, to name just a few. I know I've left some folks out, but it's great, and it's great to see so many opportunity youth and young adults who are here to chart their course for success. It's really impressive. Today, we are all rallied around a common goal to give youth and young adults access to the 21st century skills they need to compete, not only in today's job market, but in the future. At Bank of America, we are focused on strengthening local communities and economies. And we believe that helping people find meaningful employment is really the first step in our nation's recovery. We've cast a wide net and have focused our efforts on the chronically underemployed, unemployed, veterans, and most importantly, youth and young adults. This morning, I'd like to share some of the strategies we've deployed to help the next generation achieve economic success. We recognize that young people have been disproportionately impacted by the recession. With teen employment rates across the country running as high as 25%, and in some communities, much higher. We also know that the dropout rate is reaching an all-time high and that many young people are living in poverty. Today, young people face a multitude of challenges that can hinder their ability to connect to the skills and employment opportunities that will give them a chance to be part of our country's economic growth. Whether a young person is dropped out of school or just needs that extra support, such as mentoring, to guide them down the right path, there are many needs that can be addressed and it, need, it will take us to collectively address them. At Bank of America, we've developed a comprehensive workforce development strategy targeted at youth. We focus around three efforts. One, making sure young people have the support and guidance they need to stay in school, graduate from high school, and connect to post-secondary education, whether that be college, community college, or industry credentialing. Two, for those young adults that fall through the cracks, we want to make sure that there's an on-ramp to complete their education and prepare them for meaningful employment and livable wage jobs. And lastly, we are focused on supporting the next generation of leaders. And we have some of our student leaders here today, as well as, as uh, Tariq, by supporting and promoting youth and young adults who can be catalysts for change. This past summer, um, Bank of America helped over a thousand high school students find employment in their local communities through a combination of nonprofit work and opportunities uh, to work at, at the bank. But we recognize that job opportunities are more than just a paycheck. Teens who are employed have lower dropout rates, are more likely to continue their education, to pursue long-term career goals, and ultimately show an increase of lifetime earning potential. One unique feature of our strategy is that we're not focused just on training individuals for the financial service industry, per se. We place and train young people in opportunities that, where they can gain skills to connect to opportunities that, that exist in their own communities, whether it be healthcare, environment, hospitality, technology, just to name a few. But all of this comes into play through the work with our nonprofit and partners, both national and local, who are tirelessly on the front line doing the, the good work. We also feel that volunteer engagement, particularly mentoring young people, can make an impact. And we do think that supporting students in, the, in their quest for leadership is, is another great strategy. Nine years ago, we established a student leaders program, which annually provides 225 community-minded high school juniors and seniors across the the U.S. with both a leadership training skill, uh, training program, excuse me, and an internship at a local nonprofit. Since 2004, we've recognized nearly 2,000 student leaders in these 44 cities. All of them have worked at a range of nonprofit organizations serving the greater good for the summer. These range from organizations like Boys and Girls Club, Clubs to Habitat for Humanity. Student leaders also attend a week-long leadership summit in D.C. where they look at the intersection of business, nonprofit, and go the government sectors. These are civic-minded students, but we help them become more connected and form a peer network that, which will last much longer than the program. 
they have demonstrated an interest already and we're helping them advance further as leaders in their local communities. Their work experience at a nonprofit is, is an important part of the program as they learn valuable life skills from managing a paycheck to developing an understanding of the workplace and the issues facing their community. And student leaders have a ripple effect when they go back to their own communities as peer mentors and leaders. This morning, I'd like to introduce Tariq Mohammed, who is one of our 2012 student leaders. Tariq Mohammed is a student leader we are extremely proud of. He's a recent graduate of, jo graduate of John Marshall High School in Richmond, Virginia. And while he has had his share of hardship, his passion to help others in need makes him so impressive. And everyone who meets him is, is totally impressed with the work that he's done. We are so pleased that he could join us today to share some of his thoughts about his experience as a student leader and the importance of connecting young leaders to important work. Thank you. So much. Thank you, Carrie. Good morning. I'm Tariq, Mo Tariq Mohammed. I grew up in New York City and moved to Richmond, Virginia three years ago with my mom and two sisters. As Carrie mentioned, I'm a Bank of America student leader. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about this. Over the course of eight weeks this past summer, I and four of the teens of the Richmond area were awarded an opportunity to work at a nonprofit and attend a week-long leadership summit right here in DC. The summit brought together 222 teens from different backgrounds, but with a common goal, that is to shift the direction of the tides of struggle in our communities. This summer, I also worked at a great organization, the YMCA of Greater Richmond, as a mentor to young individuals. I was their role model, their counselor, their confidant. While being so much more to these young people, I gained so much more. This, was my first, this wasn't my first job, but it was my first real opportunity to buckle down and work hard because working with these young people is no joke. I remember when I was their age and the person who was most influential to me and that was my mom. She raised us on her own and taught me that perseverance through any challenge, being it taking care of three children, putting food on the table and a roof over our heads is demanded. She taught me that no matter what you're going through, you have to get your education. A lot of issues are made complex, but this one is simple. Education, job, and leadership opportunities for teens teach many things, responsibility, punctuality, financial awareness, maturity. Jobs help teens have aspirations for future career goals. And did I tell you I'm going to be a cardiac surgeon? <laughs> when teens see potential opportunities for their future, and when teens are supported on their journeys, our own communities grow and prosper. It was great to be a Bank of America student leader, but the responsibility and expectations are even greater. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to join you here today. <laughs> 